previously. You have destroyed the Cosmo Wicked Way. <laughs> On Progression Series Season 2. I'll special Cyber Dragon. <laughs> what? No! What? Oh! Oh my god. May I contact Fuse? No. Why? Come on, man. <laughs> Play something different. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, We'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Man, I gotta say, I love when we play new decks in progression series, but I really hate when it's one of the probably worst mirror matches of all time. Thankfully, we came out of the other side of it unscathed, but hopefully let's never do that again. I was sick of doing that back when Cosmo was a real deck in the format. So let's spin the wheel. Let's redeem our prize. Let's see. We are going to get nothing too great. Let's see what we can pick out. So because we spun the ultra rare wild card, we are permitted to take any of the cards, basically any card in the set, because we can take anything from the rarity or below. And because it's a set that only has two rarities, the slices get divided a little bit different. And in any case, it lets us pick from the upper echelon of the rarity, which is the gold secret rare. And I was just complaining about Cosmo, but I'm not going to lie. If I can take a second dark destroyer, that just seems fucking crazy. I don't think Gage is going to double back on Cosmo. Like, he could, but the way things went last time, it didn't go very well. And if I have a second Destroyer and he's not playing Cosmo, I think things could go very poorly for him. The only other card I'm, like, really considering is I could take, like, an Ice Hand, which gives us, like, a 3-2 ratio on hands, I suppose. There's also, like, a world I could take, like, a Ghost Ogre because it's kind of a generic guy. I suppose Giant Hand isn't terrible either for the Rank 4 department. Man, I really want to take a second Dark Destroyer. Even if, like, Gage bans it, I still feel like it's just, like, almost a free win if Gage doesn't come prepared to play against Cosmo again. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to lock in Dark Destroyer. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and throw it on over to Gage so we can tell you all about today's set Millennium Pack. All right, last week's episode was super close. I'm excited that we brought a new deck, Cosmo, into the fray, and I'm equally as upset that Alex brought the same exact idea. He definitely has a little bit more experience because he really religiously played that deck back in the day, I'm pretty sure. Nonetheless, I'm glad we gave him a run for his money. I think the games are all really close. This week, I'm looking for a comeback. I don't think we'll find anything too crazy in it, but we're opening Millennium Pack today. Millennium Pack was released April 14th, 2016, and I'm going to be very quick with this because there's not much to talk about. There's like two good cards in the set. Yep, the two good cards are Carded Demise and Left Arm Offering. For most trap strategies, if you're not special summoning a lot, you can just use Carded Demise to completely refill your hand after setting several cards. It's banned in Master Duel, it's limited to one now, and for good reason. A lot of just degenerate strategies uh, would utilize Carded Demise to completely refill their hand. Left Arm Offering allows you to get rid of your whole hand to add one spell from your deck to your hand. This was pretty cool to add, that grass looks greener. But outside of that, it's never really been anything to write home about. Everything else is just literal old school stuff, I'm pretty sure crush card virus got its um errata at this point we're like years past its prime anyways but yeah i honestly think those are going to be the only two cards that alex and i are both going to be looking for i also have pay packs to open and today we are opening ots pack one we finally have made it past astral pack you guys remember these OTS packs today? Of course, they've all been obtainable the same way. You just go to locals and you get them for entering uh, and you get them for winning sometimes too. But this is currently the name that the packs fall under today, the OTS packs. We're on number one. We've got three of those things to open. Let's see what we get. Whoa, Typhoon and the Skull Servant. No way. This actually might not be bad. This is a rare. That's pretty good for like the, um for what, any of the Draco Slayer decks utilize this guy. So this was actually not a bad pull. And this might be unreal. I think I talked about this. Did Wait, did I reroll my Breakers of Shadows packs? Oh my god, no way. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> I did. I thought, oh my god. If I would have only kept the Cyber Dragon Infinity, 
We actually had a way to get it. We could have summoned it. We got, oh my God. I'm mortified. I completely forgot that this was even in OTS pack one. Very upset about that one. Well, uh, not much we can do now. And, uh, Skull Karat Joker. Man, rub it in the fact that I don't have three monkey board anymore, huh? That's a good card. Uh, this was only in a structure deck, and I think it got a reprint in Pendulum Evolution a couple years later. Interesting. Uh, the Cyber Dragon Nova, I'm gonna be kicking myself over that one. Oh, well, let's move on steadily forward. All right, we got Millennium Pack, and we got 36 packs of Millennium Pack. Uh, interesting little set. There's really only, like, three cards we want out of here, but those three cards are insanely good. The rest is just going to be bulk, and we're never going to touch it. So let's start with our first pack, see if we get anything crazy. Man, I've always loved this art of Red-Eyes Black Metal Dragon, and, uh, you know, widespread ruins, nothing great either, but Ring of Destruction is uh, back in the game, although we've had it since uh, for quite some time. I don't know if we're going to play Ring, because it's obviously a ratted, but it's playable. I don't I don't know about any of you, but I've always loved this art of Crush Card Virus more than the, uh, the the art that most people are used to. I don't know why. I think it's like the coloring. It just looks way more vicious. There is a new card, the true name. I guess we can talk about it. We're not going to play it, but at least it's like a new card. What Metal Morph artwork are you guys the fan of? I I've never been the biggest fan of this one. I think the OG artwork is the, the one that definitely makes me smile more. They got Pendulum Monsters in the Millennium Pack? <laughs> you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm really trying to find nice things to say about the pack, but when they look like this, there there really isn't much to say. What artwork is that? Oh, I guess it is the Millennium Pack. I've never seen that artwork of Guilford. Randomly enough, I actually think if we didn't pull Exodius before, this is a chance for us to get like more copies of this guy. It's not like this card comes up in a lot of decks, but it's like randomly useful sometimes. Five-Headed Dragon's actually interesting. I think I have actually been without Five-Headed Dragon this whole time. Gage obviously had it when he played Dragon Rulers not too long ago, and uh, being a good future fusion target, not that we really had a deck to play Five-Headed in, but at least it's a good card to have. And man, I've always loved Gandor. At the end of uh, Dawn of the Duel, the whole moment with Yugi and Bakura. Man, that Gandora is sick. Oh, there's a new card. Holding Arms. I think Holding Legs is slightly better. Uh, holding Arms, if it's no more special, target a face of monster your opponent controls. While this card's face up on the field, that face of monster cannot attack. Its effects are negated. And while this face of monster is on the field, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Neat little card. Holding Legs, I think, has an effect that deals with back row, if I recall correctly. And that one actually saw a little bit of competitive play. So I'm hoping we get that one, if anything. Oh, a super rare. Holding Legs. They're like cute. Returns all set spells and traps. It's like a true nade on summon. Wow, first ultra rare, uh, the immortal phoenix to pair with the sphere mode. Unfortunately, that strategy is not good at all. Uh, this is not a great card. Holding legs. Did, is that the same one? It is. <laughs> oh my god, bro. These packs reek, dude. There's three vanillas in this pack. All right, coming up on the end, is there anything redeemable? We got one ultra rare, which I'm pretty sure is like extremely unlucky. Not that I really wanted any of them anyways, except demise. Which I will not get. Those sucked. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, thanks for the true name. Yeah, I ain't got much to say about it. Let's just put in the collection. Let's see what we're playing. Well, ask and you shall receive. There is holding legs, although we're only six packs until the end, and we haven't really gotten much else. Granted, the only real card we're looking for here is a card of demise. On summon, return all set spell and trap cards on the field to the hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Target a set spell trap your opponent controls. That set card cannot be activated until the end of your opponent's next turn. Actually, a pretty sick little card. It's like a giant trunade on a monster, and then can like ice a back row from the graveyard. It's pretty neat. There's only like five or six packs left. Let's just go ahead and send the last few here. I don't really think we're going to get anything crazy unless Card of Demise appears in the last few packs, and it does not look like it will. We got another Holding Arms, though. I wish that was a Holding Legs. I'm not going to lie. We're just going to save this. Like, Card of Demise is good, but I don't think it's really worth respinning for, and honestly, we need to pull it, too. So, like, I'm just going to add this to the collection. Let's get to building. I am definitely warming up to this deck a little bit more, and I wish TCG keeps giving us the tax. We're back on Ignite again this week after the success we've seen recently, and we've added a few new tricks. The one that I wish told me about that's so crazy is Thunder Dragon being able to pitch itself to add two more copies. If you can pendulum some of those two copies, it equates to a free Constellar Pleiades. A little bit restrictive to be able to make this guy sometimes, but two level five lights have never been easier to obtain. Also, with some of the friends that we've gotten from Premium Gold 3, including Majester Paladin and Giant Hand, these are going to be great cards cards to be able to make on our first turn end boards. This can search us any pendulum monster from our deck to hand, namely Kieran out the deck, and Giant 
giant hand is an effect negation for monsters, which is pretty sick, honestly. Also, we're finally able to resolve Draco face off if we can. I've already talked about how crazy this card is. If we're able to see it, oh my, the game will be definitely in our favor. Side deck has a whole bunch of kaijus in it, and also Rose, Warrior of Revenge. This card's actually pretty cute because you can search it with the Ignites, popping both of them in the scales. You can add a Fire Warrior, and she's a Fire Warrior, as well as a Tuner. That can make us uh, Ignister Prominence, which is a sick Synchro monster. This card's so cool because you can target a Pudgel monster on either player's field, destroy it, and then you can shuffle one card back on either player's field. And he's also really easy to make, too. We didn't make that turn one. If we want to decide to go first again, too, which has been a mistake. I know I have great OTK options in this deck, but I've been electing to go first a lot because I think the first turn boards are rather good. Uh, if I go first, we can make Stardust to insulate a board from Dark Hole. I'm pretty confident. Like I said, I think I've been getting better at this deck. Um, so I'm hoping I can perform today with it. Let's see what Alex is on. So unfortunately, I kind of spoiled what I'm already playing, given my pick off the wheel for winning. But I actually think this is a chance for us to get ahead here. The reason I say that is because I don't think Gage is going to think I'm going to double back on Cosmo, and I feel like there are very few decks that can actually reasonably deal with this, because Cosmo Dark Destroyer is just such an insane card, so I want to take advantage of this as best I can. Some of you who might remember this format remember that Dark Destroyer does eventually get limited, but in terms of the progression series, it's not going to happen for at least several episodes, so it's going to put Gage in this weird position, because he's already on the verge of a banning, and so yes, he is allowed to unban cards, but is he going to want to preemptively ban Dark Dark Destroyer just to knock out another deck? Who knows? Obviously, this deck did get hindered because of the April 2016 ban list I believe we're following now. Emergency Teleport is now at two. Reasoning went to one, and uh, Upstart Goblin went to one, so we lost some of our just, like, generic consistency cards, but we're able to make up for the fact that we can put Terraforming in to get Cosmo Town, and we just put in some more trap cards just to be a bit more defensive. Yeah, sure, they're, like, life point focused, like Judgment and Warning, but we don't need to spend a ton of life points in this deck to do what we really want to do, and plus we can gain back those life points if we're able to stick Forerunner. We also put in a third Delta Shuttle because now that we have two Dark Destroyer, it's a lot more likely that we're going to get Dark Destroyer in rotation, and so I want to maximize our abilities to do so, especially because we lost some of our ability in the fact that Reasoning got hit. So, the card by card, we have the two Dark Destroyer, the Triple Shuttle, the Fighter, the Farm Girl, and Triple Forerunner. We have two Strawman, three Wicked Witch, and that does it for the monsters. We have double Dark Hole, double E-Telly, a Gold Sark, double Cosmo Town, Pot of Greed, Reasoning, Triple Terraforming, Triple Twin, and of course, the lone Upstart Goblin. And for Traps, we have Bottomless, Triple Call, the Haunted, Oasis, Judgment Strike, Warning, and Torrential. The extra deck still as useless as it was before, um, but there is a chance, like, maybe he's thinking the same thing I am, and he's gonna double back on this. So for the side deck, we are prepared. We still have our Sidras in tandem with our Chimera tech, but we also have System down this time as well. This also has coverage against desk bots if he happens to bring that today. So I don't mind going more all-in on, like, Machine Hate, just because there's two potential decks he could bring. And then we've got stuff like Valor to cover just, like, general decks. We have Kaiju. Similarly, I mean, it's good for this matchup and other matchups where you stick just a guy that's hard to out, MST for any back row decks, and then we got Blackhorns in here just in case of any, like, rank 4 focus deck, or if we need to bring in just some more removal altogether. I still think this deck is fine. Obviously, it's not the most consistent, but if we just get Dark Destroyer, I'm generally confident that we're probably just going to win the game. So, let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, Gage, I, I'm, I've said it before and I'll say it again. We're on the verge of a banning for you, buddy. Millennium Pack, how to treat you? I, as well as Millennium Pack could, Alex, as well as that <laughs> set could. I don't know if uh, you remember, but this set was a stinker besides like one, maybe two cards, if you really, right. really think about it. Did you pull any yeah, card of Demises uh, you want to just tell me early? Eh, we'll see, we'll see. I am nervous, though, because Card of Demise is a big hit, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of decks that we have that can take advantage of it, so could be a turning point, mm -hmm. potentially, for the series. Of all packs, who'd have thought, right? But, yeah, you're right, the set kind of sucks. I do remember, do you remember Holding Legs actually saw competitive play? Yeah. Just because you could Pendulum Summon it and then, like, bounce stuff? Like, yeah. I, I don't remember that's how they used it or not, but I, there was some way that they used it. I don't know if it was ever good, though. It was one of those things that, like, oh, we're, we're trying to find anything <laughs> nice to say about this pack. <laughs> so, yeah, oh yeah, holding much. legs, yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, outside of card demise, card demise is still one of those cards, like, I always think of stun strategies, but I remember we just played Cosmo last week, and I remember that's a deck that yeah. was able to take advantage of it, uh, which is pretty funny when you think about it. It was Tin Can and the Spell Card. Like, what mm -hmm. more could you ask for? Yep, right. <laughs> so, let's get into it, buddy. Shout out the patron, Marco Bernocchio. Thank you for the support. I'm assuming you're Italian, otherwise I completely mispronounced that. Uh, let's see, buddy. Uh, I'm rolling the die. Okay, all right. I guess Do it I'm again. rolling the die again after that. Okay, Ooh, all right. Ooh, I get to pick? Ooh, so much power. I'm not used to this power gauge. I don't know what to do, actually. <laughs> you know what? 
I'll go ahead and go first. I think oh, it's probably okay. the right move. See, he's not confident I have dark holes in my deck. I so. mean, you have it for the last, like, nine episodes. And uh, I'm confident I'm just going to draw Pot of Greed anyway. Oh, so, all right. I'm, totally I'm just going to yep. invalidate the fact that I went first. I don't know how much I really want to reveal here. So, you know what, buddy? Here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to set one. I'm going to pass. Go That's ahead. it. That's it, bro. That better be the best That's back row card in the game. I'll go stand by main. All right. I think... uh this should be fucking sick. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, man. To start off, I'm going to activate from my hand, Thunder Dragon, pitching it from the hand of the graveyard. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to get two more of his friends, bro. Just a couple more. I am... Oh, God. I do not like where this is I, going. I, 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 Thunder okay, okay. Dragon. Alex, Alex, deep breath with me. It's not an FTK strategy, so... <laughs> Uh, okay, I, I know I mean, the last few times I've played this guy, it's been it's been uh, putting back war for flashbacks to you, but it's not that good. Don't okay. worry. All right, I'm in. All right, uh, I'm going to follow it up with uh, activating Reinforcement of the Army. Okay. All right. Where are we going with this? I'm going to pick up Ignite Paladin. You're back on the Ignite. Yeah, that's Dang. where we're going with it. That's wow. where we're going with it. I know. Wow. Uh, let's go activate Cavalier, activate Margrave. You just wanted some more fives in your deck? Was that, I, was that the idea? <laughs> well, you'll see in a minute if this pendulum summon resolves. I guess I will. Yeah, go ahead. Go right. ahead and go nuts. I'm going to blow these up. Uh, we're yeah, going right. to pick up two more. On some new technology, perhaps. Let's see. You know, Gage, Ignite Paladin has a reputation as a thinker, but with a cool head. A thinker with a cool head? Is that what it says? I didn't but even the know. The truth is that his emotions <laughs> just gonna... take longer to heat up. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to be honest. I've never read the monster effects on any of these cards. Not a single one of them. Either. <laughs> you know what I just played the other day? I played um Master Saga with DZ and Farfa. Uh-huh. And uh -huh. uh, I, I think Farfa was playing the... No, it was Doug. DZ was playing the Ignites. Did you... I, it always throws me off that Templar. The other level four was an ultra rare. It was an it ultra. Was I yeah. actually have one. I pulled Oh, you one got one? That's pretty lucky. Yeah, I, I have one, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry I'm taking so long here. I think I'm going to pick up... Took me a minute to decide. We're going to get the veteran. Sure. Man, there's some deep lore here. I'm reading veterans' text now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I got to figure this all out. Okay, how do I take full advantage of this? All right, uh, I'm going to activate Draco Faceoff. Ooh, Yeah, this, okay. is, uh, this is a pretty yeah. creamy card here. I'm going to reveal Master Pendulum, and I was... Lucky enough to be able to get one of these guys in premium gold here. Vector Pendulum as well. Does this have a macro? Uh, it does not. Uh, oh, okay. That would have been sick if it did, but obviously Dueling Book, you know, isn't that capable. All right. Uh, okay, I have to randomly pick, right? So I yeah. will just flip a coin. So heads for Vector, tails for Master. Sound okay. good? Yep, sounds good. And the coin is heads. Okay, so I have to decide what to do with Vector. Uh, I get to special him. No, so the one, the one I pick randomly goes into your pen zone. Or special summon. So, I get to pick that. Or special summon, yes. And the other goes to the extra deck face up. Okay, I'm going to special summon the vector. Okay. And then, and then, the then you put the master in your hand. It or goes to extra, extra face up. Yeah, it goes extra to deck, extra, sorry, face extra up. deck. Yep, I, I know it's been it's been a while since we've read that. It's been a while. Card. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> but that card's crazy, isn't it? Like it just reminds you how fucking good that card is. Um, okay, I'm gonna activate Paladin and Veteran, and sure. I am going to perform a pendulum summon. Okay, you do that. We're gonna go one, two, Three. Okay. I think that's going to be it. And then... Uh, well, Gage. What, what, do you have Torrential? That's a you nightmare. You said it better be the best back row in... Oh! One of the <laughs> what a disaster! Oh, my God. Bro. I was like, it better be like the one... Of that's crazy. Unfortunately, you do not get to see my new extra deck tech. So I'm we'll happy for that. I hope we don't get to see it at all. That would be the best case scenario. All right. Do I have a read? you just go back to your extra deck. <laughs> yeah. Do I have a read that you have Twin Twister? Are you going to... You gonna twin twister my pendulum scales? <laughs> nah, I'll keep them around. Go ahead, your turn. All right, I'll draw. Stand by me. Now you get to see what I'm up to. I'm gonna normal summon Cosmo Farm Oh, uh, okay, he's back again. That's a that's insane too. That's really good. Okay, <laughs> fifteen. All right, um, yeah, it's gonna go through. Yeah, I'll use Farm Girl. I'll pay five. Yep. yep. And you know what we're getting, buddy. You know what we're getting. I know. I know. We'll activate. Sure. We'll bring out the Dark Destroyer. Yep. Better be scared, buddy. All right, I get to activate. Uh, actually, no, it's only monsters. It's only monsters. So. Yep. You can. Yeah, I, you, you sure scales. you don't want to? You, you can use it. You uh, can pop I'm good. Card. I don't want to. I could. Yes, yeah, you're right. I can't blow up my own Dark Destroyer. That is a legal play. <laughs> I'm yeah, just I'll just hit you for 3K. You yep. already beat me to it. Yep. yep. Uh, I will just set one. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. Stand by main. That's an fantastic draw bro. that's a good one. i will say I, I will wish i had a slip rider for yeah i know right i know 
<laughs> all right. All right, man. It's only fair, right? If you have it, I have it too. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, I can't complain. I can't Off complain. the top, sure, sure. no place I'd rather have it. Okay. All right, my man. Now, let me see if I have an out for this <laughs> Dark Destroyer. I was about to say, like, you can pen summon, but, like, how hard is it going to be for you to out this guy? Can't be targeted. It can be destroyed. It just can't be targeted. Oh, my God. Ooh, wait, bro, that's kind of crazy. Let me make sure that's what I want to do. Oh my god, you're gonna get dumpstered. Oh my god. Okay, don't like to hear that. Okay, bro, uh, let me use my scales. Pop, pop. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick up... It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna pick up Gallant from the deck. Sure. And I'm gonna scale Gallant. I'm gonna scale Margrave. Okay, that I'm is gonna scales. launch these off. Oh, okay. I'll pick up another Gallant. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sure. scale Gallant and Squire. That scales. Is this good? Anything here? Yeah. Okay. Now you're good. Open game state's fine. All right. Uh, let's go Pendulum Summon. Sure. I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to go three. I'm going to go four. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go five. Do you have a well, Solemn game. Strike? Do you have a Solemn <laughs> Strike? I don't have Solemn Strike, but it's not bad either. I have Bottomless Trap. Oh, my <laughs> fuck. No! Oh, my God. That's my whole board, Alex. I No, you get to keep the veteran. You get oh, no, veteran. yeah, I get to keep the veteran. How generous. Oh, my God. Funny enough, if you had two veterans, I wouldn't have been able to Bottomless both of them. That's so miserable. Okay, all right. Man, I Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's so irritating. Okay, all right. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah. Go. <laughs> Great. I'll draw. Stand by main. Uh, can I just win? What is this? 17 over the Dark Destroyer that puts you at 18. I'll try it. Go Wicked Witch. Yep. I'll tag. This is lethal, right? This is lethal, unless you've got something. I don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That sucked. I okay. Dude, that was that was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I oh my god, I cannot believe it. All my dreams dashed away that quickly. I thought I had that one up too. All right, well now I gotta beat your damn Cosmo deck again. And I, I did give you credits. I was talking about it before. I was like, this guy, he knows his way around this deck. I'm pretty sure. Didn't you play this a lot? Back I did in the day? play this a bit. Yeah, I did play it. A bit, yeah. So. yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge when you're definitely warmed up to something already. But I'm yeah. hoping I can go first this time, and maybe set up something a little bit more threatening. Right? All right. <laughs> best of luck. All right. Good luck, Dulce. Let's see what we're capable of. Stay in my main. Not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna start with Summoner's Art. Sure. Okay, this allows me to add a five or higher vanilla. So I will pick up a Cavalier. I'm going to read more lore while you're putting your turn together here. I'm yeah, sure. Man. Now. Let me know what you find out. Right? I'll let you know. I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, let's go left, right. Pop them off. Sure. Uh, I'm going to pick up these. Let's go left, right. Let's pop those off. Sure. Pick up this guy. Okay. All right, let's go left, right, <laughs> and then let's finally pendulum summon. Let's All get right. it going. Not too bad. All right. We're going to go one, two, three, four, sure. five. Oh, okay. Kieran makes this more complicated now. Yeah. All right. Now, the thing is, is uh, do I ever have to read the dark hole again? Let's look historically at how this has gone for you. Yeah, it hasn't gone great. I'm thinking of like... I, I had like a, I didn't have like a, mm, no, I, I don't think I could have did that. I was trying to think of a really cute play to be able to insulate myself specifically from Dark Hole, but mm -hmm. I don't think I exactly had it. What do you do outside of when I bounce your farm girl? And you only have one farm girl. Wow, you wow you were only have one. You were lucky <laughs> enough to see it last game too. That's crazy. Got like a Dark Destroyer. I think this might be fine if I just leave this like it is. You know what? I, I, I'm so confident he's going to stick this time. I'm so confident wow, that okay. the Photon Strike Bouncer will... At least him. At least him, he'll be able to stick around. Uh, you got I think a cure I'm okay to protect with, it. You got a cure yeah, to protect it. Not many fives that are like actually good to make turn one. So I think I might just leave them there like that. Yeah, we'll use them as Kieran food. I'll just pass there. Go ahead. 
Okay, sure. In terms of lore, I've learned that Cavalier is very reckless, that the other Ignites are afraid that Cavalier is going to blow them up in terms, just like everyone else. I mean, yeah, so. he's already on fire, right? Yeah. Like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you could say they're ignited. Anyway, this is going to be Whoa! Uh, That's crazy. We're going to go ahead and... I don't want to play this. Let's... Ooh, ooh, there's some interesting stuff I could do, actually. Bouncer's on field. Yes, Bouncer is on field. I just need to clarify that. I'm going to fire Reasoning. This is your favorite card. Okay. Um, Anything is summonable off of this, but what's like the most recurring level in your deck? You were telling me about this last time. I think you said five was a good call. You don't have Slip Riders, though. Mm. Five was good for you. Yeah, I think you might be me. thinking of. Is Forerunner Forerunner's also an eight, right? Forerunner's a seven. It is a seven. Okay. Yes. I think that's the most likely you're going to be able to hit. You play three Forerunner. I know you do. Or like, or like Wicked Witch. What other Forerunner? <laughs> I'm probably overthinking <laughs> this. Uh, you have a, you, oh, you might have a good witch too. But letting you stick a free ship is the one. I'm going to call seven. I'm calling seven. You're going to call seven. I'm, okay. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm going to call seven. All right. Well, I guess I'm Fuck! I was one number <laughs> off. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so close. I'm thinking what I want to do with this guy. Because he's not great. He doesn't check nah, anything. No, he's, he's one of the worst of them. He's, yeah, he's, I mean, he sticks to the field, which I'm happy about, but he's kind of just sitting there. I'm doing a ton. Uh, we'll put him in defense. Okay. Anything here? Nothing here. That's fine. Okay. Um, tribute summon? You don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's activate Cosmo Town. Okay. I will activate Cosmo Town to Mulligan. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'm just going to put back one. I'm going to put back this Wicked Witch. Sure. Okay. I'm going to activate MST on my Cosmo Town. Uh, I don't think I can do anything to that. That's cute. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And that'll trigger Cosmo Town. Yep. I will grab the Darkest of Destroyers. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yup. I'm going to normal summon Wicked Witch. Let me double read this real quick. Cannot be destroyed by... Okay. Yes. Summon is fine. I'm going to set two. And I'm going to pass. Right. Okay. Let me think. No, you have the destroyer in your hand. I'm not going to miss this free bounce off of this. Probably. Um, Could have twin twisters in the back row, which would set me up for disaster. Maybe I don't bounce either of these. No, I, I for sure bounce this dogfighter. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use Kieran. I'm going to put back this Margrave and I'm going to target your dogfighter. This is during the end phase. This is during the end phase. Uh, Okay. Thank you. That is fine. This can go back to hand. Okay, cool. Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. Draw. Anything in draw phase? I think in draw. I'm thinking what standby. about the standby? Okay, yeah, standby. Right. What, do you got you. what you got for me? You put back the Margrave. I uh, yes, I did. I'm going to activate Wicked Witch. Okay, I'm going to chain strike Bouncer. Negate my effect. I'm going to. What do you got back there, bro? What are you? What are you thinking, what are you thinking. thinking about? Hold on, I'm thinking. <laughs> chain link three. I'm gonna twin twister your scales. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Do you have a chain link four? Nope. Okay, this resolves. All right. Um, sure. So scales sure. get blown. I take a thousand. Wicked Witch gets negated, and uh, that's it. Right. So that's going to be it's going to be call the haunted. That's what that has to be. Yikes! If that's the case, um. Yeah, not an easy spot for you, huh, buddy? Nah, nah, it's not. It never is. Shit. All right. Well, um. Hello, main phase one. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just go battle phase and then sure go and. Show me it. I got it. Yep, yep. Get Dark Destroyer. Okay. Yeah, uh, Dark Destroyer, pop? I'm going to pop the Strike Bouncer. Yeah. Only a once per turn on that baddie. All right. That's unfortunate. Um, I got work oh, to do. Oh, this stays. I'm sorry. What does? Oh, the call? Yes. Yeah. I guess just throw that to defense and um, go ahead. Okay. Draw. Uh, you know, I'll give you a thousand life points. I don't think I'm killing you this Wow. Time. Thanks, bro. Okay. Such a power, okay. aren't I? Uh, we'll go battle. Yep. Uh, we will clear the Kirin, I guess. Yep. Yeah, that uh, upstart paid for yep, that. So. It did. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm such a pal. Go ahead. Awesome. Draw. Stand by main. Now you got that Margrave, and you got two other cards you've drawn the past two turns. His Dark Destroyer poses a challenge. He's destroying. He's annoying. Is what <laughs> <I'm doing. laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking. Yeah, you're good. It's <clears> tough. <throat> I don't envy your position. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a great one. I'm trying to find the right setup. All right, let's go scale Paladin. 
Okay. I can scale Margrave. Sure. I'm going to launch him. Okay. And I'm going to pick up a, another Paladin. Sure. All right. I'm going to scale. Mm-hmm. Scale. It's funny. It's the exact same ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> this sticks, right? This is okay? Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to perform a Pendulum Summon. Sure. Um, I'm going to go him, 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 and him. Uh, what can you make here? You've got two sixes and two fives. I was trying to think, like, what five or six outs Dark Destroyer. I guess I'd rather not find out. I'm just going to strike this. Oh! Oh! No! Oh! I was like, if it's bottomless, I still win! God, no, Alex, no! <laughs> ah! I was like, ah! Oh! oh, my, I'm so pissed! I could have... Oh! Oh! Hold on, I'm just going to be upset for a second. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I can't kill you yet. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I, the game might as well be over. The, oh, I set this up to be bottomless, and I'm so upset that that's not what it was. I was like, it's going to be call. It's going to be bottomless because that's what I saw out of you. And I was like, you might torrential, but like if you torrential, that's fine. Right, you do it next turn. This, this is the... This is... Without exaggeration, the worst possible, <laughs> the worst possible scenario. You're fine though, because you can keep pending back your Kieran and your Cavaliers. That's why I'm saying. You're oh not yeah, because Kieran's doing a great job right now, right? <laughs> like, against the monster that can't be targeted. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. That's oh, that's so depressing. Okay, all right. So they go to grave. They go to grave. Importantly, yes. Christ. Oh my god, that's everything. That's that. That was it, right? What? Well, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, like I said, I can only do this. Yep. And then I'll set one. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All right. Yeah, I guess. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just go. I drew it for turn. <laughs> Whoops. I meant to attack. 3,000. Yeah, I want to take it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Damn. You should take solace in the fact I can't twin twist you. Now <laughs> yeah, bro. bro. Living the dream, bro. <laughs> Living the dream. I don't think you can draw. No way you top deck farm, girl. That would be. Oh, but I'm dead to another call of the haunted. Wow. This doesn't look good for me either way. Um, I kind of have to play as if that's Call of the Haunted because I'm going to lose other than that. Okay. Uh, I'll normal summon QB and then... Fact. Normal QB? Yep. To get Tempest? Sure. It's fine. Go. Uh, I'll hit. Yes. Take 15. 15. Go ahead. Go. Draw. The setting fucking set anything at this point uh we'll go fucking call the haunted yep get dogfighter yep uh let's get yep. in with dogfighter yep it is a, another qb 3k yes fumbled a bit here should have done this during your standby or the end of your turn uh, i'll trigger my guy i didn't get the chance to redeem myself uh, anyways okay. yep good game <laughs> oh, oh man my god Dark so, Destroyer, man. This card is so fucking good. I just have to tell you because I did yeah. find the way to beat it through Okay, what's the way? I was I'm like curious. so confident. So the big guy that was going to be very unassuming was this. As long as Paladin was around. Okay. Um, and, and at least like I guess one of these Pendulum cards. As long sure. as this lived, uh, everything else can go. That's fine. The play was I would pop off the Ignite scales and then I would be able to search instead of an Ignite, the Warrior of Revenge. For a tuner. Here. Yeah, so you can normal it, and then this makes... Check this guy out. You might have forgotten him. Oh, Ignister Prominence. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, and to the be big fair, thing, Ignister he doesn't loses, target. But he loses the bottomless, though, anyway. He does, yes. I mean, so... so <laughs> but, 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 but the thing is, is, like, if I pendulum summon that board, because there's two sixes and yeah, stuff, and you might yeah. be like, oh, maybe I'm still bottomless here, because... Right, right. Or, I or if I make a six first, the other six that I have that, like, beats Dark Destroyer is, um, I can make a... This guy here. Uh, oh, Utopia, Utopia Beyond. Beyond. I forgot about this guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, I, I remember game one, I was trying to craft a way to do Utopia Beyond Dweller, and I screwed right. that up a little bit. Uh, and then game two here, it was going to be, like, make Utopia Beyond and force you to, like, bottomless there, and then make sure. Ignister Prominence and shuffle it back and 
take control of the game. So you had outs. Like, you had yeah. outs. Yeah. Yeah. I, wow. Yeah. I just had the just, traps. You, you did too, I guess. You did too, right? <laughs> like, yeah, for real. I drew that Twin Twister for turn, so, like, I felt so bad because I'm like, I'm just staring at, like, nothing. And then all of a sudden, Twin Twister's in my hand. Like, all right, cool. Like, yeah, I, 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 I would have been able to, to, to pull off the pendulum. Some, I would have been able to do the same play. I, mean, if I had this twin anyway. So. Oh, yeah, of course yeah, you I mean, did. Why yeah, wouldn't you? Literally, we were just saying no at that point. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's insane. That strike is, that, that's your only strike, too, right? I only have one strike. Yeah, but I actually, so the difference with this deck is I played a few more traps because uh, I just tweaked some things around. And so we have the whole Solemn Brigade in here now. So um, Strike Warning Judgment, which all happened to conveniently work against uh, Pendulum. So I'm happy I did that. Yeah. And I put in the Bottomless, which was something I was looking at old Cosmo decks. And in the off chance, you decided to play the deck again. Uh, Bottomless is a way to deal with Dark Destroyer because since it banishes it, it's not able to banish itself for its effect. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So mm -hmm. figured we throw that in there. I didn't think I was going to be stopping a whole Pendulum Summon with it. I got to be honest. Yeah, right. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Worked out that way. Worked out that way. Yeah, I mean, you have your outs, but man, this card is just a fucking menace. Uh, I, I still remember from back in the day how annoying this card was, and uh, it, it still proves to be true here in the progression series, which is why I decided to add another one to my deck with my wheel for today. No! <laughs> no, did you get like a... What was it? You have to get Ultra Secret to be able I to do that? I got an Ultra Rare Wild card, and that, I decided... Yeah. You know what? Let's add a second one to the arsenal, because the first Disgusting. one is bad enough. And uh, yeah, I was hoping it would come up in the game to surprise you, but you get to see it here. And uh, now it's something you have to think about when you're in the banding next week, my friend. I know, right? You want to hear another heartbreaker from today? Shoot. So in OTS Pack 1, which we were so lucky to open today, there's a special card in there called Cyber Dragon Nova. <laughs> <laughs> oh and, shit, dude! I rerolled my my. I, I was telling you last time for Breakers of Shadows, I uh -huh. pulled the Infinity, but we rerolled it because we didn't have access to Nova. You and now the I Nova, and then I pulled the Nova, and I was like, oh, no! I was like, I can't believe no. this. I was like, that could have been could... so good for so many decks. That's I know. Crazy. Could you imagine the Pendulum Soup would get even crazier with that? <laughs> I'd be doing soup. Ptolemaius into Nova into Infinity. The game Gross. games would not be. be be in favorable for you there. No, even like Dino Mist, right? Like that's a deck that we've seen just wreak havoc in Prague. That plays five. So like you could have gone yep. that and their machines. You could have gone into Nova Infinity there too. You could yep. still redeem uh Infinity with like one of our uh with one of our tickets on the wheel of sorts. So it's still mm -hmm. it could come back and it gets reprinted eventually too, but that's so unfortunate. I'm so sorry for you, buddy. That <laughs> yeah. sucks. So what I I'm finally going into the the banning, or as it is now, that the is banning true. or unbanning. That's so true. I get to take something back, uh, probably. Unless I want to get rid of Dark Destroyer. <laughs> maybe maybe it's time already, bro. It could be. I mean, it's a tough call, too. I actually think it gets limited not too far off from now, but I think there's still a several episodes where it's going to be legal. So something you have to think about in the back of your mind. The big question is, Gage, did you get any copies of Card of Demise? No, I did not. I, I did not either. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't get a damn thing, and I was like, I'm, no, I'm not going to re-roll it either. Like, I would have no thrown way. that in this deck 100% just as a oh, yeah, way I to bet, get Dark I Destroyer. Bet. Yeah, but it sucks. Uh, can't really complain, though. We ended up walking with it. I was afraid. I was like, God, don't bring Cosmo back back to back. I don't want to play the mirror again. But <laughs> The mirror, but, uh, it was exhausting. That, it was. It's very people exhausting. People don't get to see the, the behind the scenes, but I'm pretty sure that was one of our longer ones. Maybe one of the longest ones we filmed in terms of raw footage. Yeah, we were thinking over a lot of stuff for a while. But I'll be curious to see what you either ban or unban next week, my friend, because that could definitely turn the tables. Yep, I'm gonna need it. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and Life Keeps Using Solemn Judgment on My Hopes and Dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.